Friends, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're viewing this devotional. My name is Ethan Gregory, and I'm one of the pastors here at First Church. Today we find ourselves in the second half of Lent, this 40-day journey, not counting the Sundays, leading up to the death and resurrection of Jesus, leading up to Easter. How do we find ourselves in this season? We've been talking a lot about change. Have you noticed? Have you experienced the Holy Spirit working within your own heart, within your own mind? Are you thinking about things differently? Have you noticed just the slightest bits of change within yourself or within this place? I don't know. I wonder. I was thinking about change and I came across Psalm 126. Hear these words. When the Lord changed Zion's circumstances for the better, it was like we had been dreaming. Our mouths were suddenly filled with laughter. Our tongues were filled with joyful shouts. It was even said at that time among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Yes, the Lord has done great things for us, and we are overjoyed. Lord, change our circumstances for the better like dry streams in the desert waste. Let those who plant with tears reap the harvest with joyful shouts. Let those who go out carrying, crying their seed come home with joyful shouts, carrying bales of grain. O oh Lord, change our circumstances. This has been our prayer this Lenten season. So we've looked at our hearts, so we've considered the things we expect of others, as we've considered our own habits, as we've considered how we go about seeing, being, and living in the world. Yesterday in worship, we were privileged to have Dr. Brian Brown preach for us. And then he joined with some of our leadership, with our staff parish relations committee, the members of our parish conference, and a number of our staff afterwards for a workshop as we prepare for the reception of Reverend Karen Richards Kwan as our new senior pastor this July 1. In worship, Dr. Brown was talking about changing our comfort zone. And then in the workshop, he talked about change in a different way. He said, if your system does not change, know what it was designed for. Mm. It made us think. At least I hope it did. It made our leaders consider our systems, our ways of doing and going about and being church right here in this place called First United Methodist Church of Portland. We've been emerging into a new way of living with the coronavirus over the last month or so. We've been opening up a little bit more. We've had to remember how to email the appropriate people to reserve rooms for a meeting. I had to remember how to order lunch for a group of people just this weekend. We've been coming back. But I hope, I hope in the midst of the coming back that none of us, that absolutely none of us, think for one second that things are going back to normal, that things are going to be exactly as they were before the spring of 2020. Because they aren't, my friends. And while I guess, I guess if they could be, if they are, well now, just as Dr. Brown said, that our systems, our ways of doing things were designed not to change. But friends, as God's people, we are designed for change. We're designed for being and becoming. We're designed for growing. We're designed for learning. We're designed to not be the same people that we were yesterday. This is what following Jesus is all about. This is what it felt like when the psalmist wrote the words, God changed our circumstances, and it was like something out of our dreams. Friends, what are, what are we dreaming? What are you dreaming about in this Lenten season for yourself, for your neighborhoods, 
but also for our church. Let's allow those changes to happen. Let's allow ourselves to ask the questions that need to be asked. Let's allow ourselves to, yes, grieve for what was, but look with excitement at what's up ahead. And so let's continue to change together. Won't you pray with me? God of change, continue to work within our own hearts. Help us to grow, to move, to be and become who you are calling us to be as individuals and as the people of God right here in this place called First United Methodist Church of Portland. Help us to keep walking faithfully in these days of Lent, to keep reflecting, to keep repenting as we await your death, but more importantly, as we await resurrection. In the name of the one whom we follow, we pray. Amen. Friends, go in peace. We will see you in worship this Sunday.